card catalogs, are they obsolete? Aren't they hard to read and messy and old? I mean, this should just be on the internet, right? Yes, well, but if you want to find out more information about Melbourne and Victoria that you're not going to find on the internet, I recommend you learn to love the Melbourne Newspaper Card Indexes found at the State Library of Victoria. Newspapers are a key collection item at the State Library of Victoria. If you want to learn more about the library's newspaper collection, please look at our research guides titled How to Find Newspapers and How to Find Items in Newspapers for more information. Why Newspapers? Well, for many years, newspapers were the best way to read about events and people well known or only in the news for a moment. But for the historian, newspapers are of vital importance. There's a chance that you may have been in a newspaper or know someone who's been in the newspaper article. The newspaper gives an eyewitness to history and reports news as it happens and reflects people's actions and reactions to these events, both big and small. State Library of Victoria allows access to newspapers across Australia and the world. The library holds extensive runs of Victorian newspapers in hard copy and on microfilm. More recent editions of Melbourne newspapers have been digitised and are available at the State Library of Victoria via subscription newspaper databases. Historical copies of major Melbourne newspapers are accessible on microfilm and digital copies exist on Trove. Trove? What's a Trove? What about these card indexes? Oh, bear with me, bear with me, this is important. Trove is a free Australian library catalogue and newspaper magazine database rolled into one. It's a major destination for Australian researchers. And if you are looking for full text copies of Melbourne newspapers dated up to around 1956, Trove is a must see. Okay, so we've got Trove and that searches Melbourne newspapers from the 1800s to the mid 1950s. Then on the other hand, we've got the subscription databases that the library subscribes to and uh, they, for Melbourne newspapers, run from the early 1990s. So for Melbourne newspapers that you can search online, mid 1950s, the early 1990s, there's a big gap. Now, searching through Melbourne newspapers between the mid-1950s and the early 1990s can sometimes feel like searching for a needle in the haystack. Trust me, I've tried. But help is at hand. The Melbourne Newspaper Card Indexes. Card indexes for the newspapers The Herald, The Sun and The Age are held by the State Library of Victoria. These cards have varied coverage, but are held between 1955 to the 1970s, and there are more for the age in the 1980s. A newspaper index is an alphabetical list of news articles. The Melbourne newspapers mentioned are indexed by subject, name of a person, or an author name. These indexes are in organised into a card format. General subject indexes cover all the main news contents of a newspaper. They usually list articles under subject headings, such as accidents, floods, roads, schools, etc. If a person was regularly in the news, they may be listed by a name. For example, Hawk, Robert, Bradman, Don. The cards were created by librarians working at the newspaper companies to assist journalists in finding information quickly about what the newspaper had previously published on a subject or a person or an event. The cards were designed to display certain information about newspaper articles. The card layout allowed numerous articles to be indexed on a single card. 
with the key theme of a card, usually a subject or a person, listed at the top of the card. The card will display the date, the article title or article description, and page number. When you find an article you want to read, select the relevant microfilm from the newspaper microfilm cabinets nearby and then use the microfilm reader to look at the article. It's not always straightforward to use the cards. Many of them are really difficult to read. Another issue is how the cards are organized into subject headings. These headings can seem strange to users. Trying to match their topic of interest to a subject heading written by a newspaper librarian many years ago. My own experiences using the card indexes has been largely positive. Now sure, myself and other librarians, when we use these indexes, we often miss out on finding anything. But when you do find something in these indexes, it's very rewarding because we know that it's difficult to find this information elsewhere. I found articles and photos for families, helping to confirm a story that a grandparent told them, and helping to turn that story into a piece of family history. If it wasn't for those newspaper card indexes, this just wouldn't have happened. The Melbourne newspaper card indexes are located in the newspaper family history reading room at the library, and they're available for everyone to look at. But if you can't make it in, don't worry. There are ways that we can help using the Ask a Librarian service or get getting in touch by phone. Well, I hope to see you, or you might see me, at the Melbourne Newspaper Card Indexes at the State Library of Victoria.